calm down. I'm like, how can you guys know. calm down no one when you're freaked out? Yeah, like, absolutely nuts, dude. Um, as a fan of Smash Brothers for so many years, dude, whenever I see great plays like that, especially you know, because like the shine is such a potent edge guarding oh, tool in it's melee. A classic. <laughs> like, come on now. You can't, it, not even melee, like even in uh, 64, you see people use yeah. the shine. No, so. that move is just, I feel like even if you don't play Smash, you know shine. You just you know. know. That move. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if Sakurai were to make another Smash game, he should stop calling it the reflector and just call, call it the shine. shine. Come on, you know, throw us a bone. Yeah, <laughs> acknowledge, acknowledge the homies, dude. <laughs> we keep your game alive, dog. <laughs> One <laughs> more thing go. I want to talk about is that Larry, while we did see him mess up the fair foot stool uh, earlier, he's been working on a version of it with Cloud where he just does reverse fair foot stool uh, off stage and just kills Cloud at any percent. So maybe we're going to see that come into play here. We are going to go to Battlefield, which is Larry's favorite stage, uh, but it's an amazing Cloud stage you. Como Rikiri is very cons that's the first time I've seen him miss that. These two were actually practicing together uh, last night at Como Rikiri's place where he's staying. Mm. And every single time Larry went low like that, he died. He got spiked. Well, it looked like Larry actually teched it. Yeah. So Como did land a down air. Yep. Uh oh. Gotta watch out. And it looked like Como wasn't even um, aiming in the d right direction to send Larry off stage from that down smash. Yep. If Como was facing away from the edge. Probably would have been a bad situation for Larry. Here we go. So far, Larry has only found one or two openings. Can't really seem to find one again on Komo Rikiri. That was his chance, but he went the wrong way. I definitely was expecting a potential up tilt. These two are just staring at each other. So especially knowing that they've been training. <gasps> yeah, they played a little bit uh, uh, yesterday. Yeah. Ooh, this means that it's going to be a really interesting match. Tough position here. Larry already showing his hand a bit. Okay, but Komo actually missing the punish again. So, ooh. Oh. It's a grounded side B, so he's not able to convert. Ooh, interesting. That was a brave side B. A lot of clouds will throw out another hitbox after the, the uh, cross slash. Right, but he, he just basically waited right there. I was, like, I was just going to say, good recovery from Larry. Not really throwing out anything, but still not going to die. Not on Battlefield. And one of the reasons why this is just so difficult is that Fox, even though he may have like a really good juggle game, right, the cloud could just stick out a down air. Exactly. Unfortunately... <laughs> right there. You always have to be wary of that down air, but this time, Komarkiri not going to find it, and Larry's actually going to make a comeback and seal the first stock out. So sneaky with these side Bs, catching Komarikiri off guard time and time again. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Saw that one coming. And right. it might be conditioning from Larry, too, with yeah. these side Bs. If you think about it, right, a lot of clouds like to charge from afar, so maybe he's trying to discourage Komarikiri from charging the Makes limit. Sense. Larry, I know, just likes to throw that side B out basically until he starts getting punished for it. And then, yeah. <laughs> then he'll stop doing it. And that's usually the best way to play. It's like, give me a reason to stop doing exactly. something. Exactly. Make me work for it. That's it. And yeah. we out. Yep. Doesn't even matter if you have limit. Larry Lur taking game one. Oof. That was such a solid performance from Larry. Okay, so Komo Rikiri is definitely going to have to be a lot more careful off stage. Both situations. He got, he got back here the first stock. Um, and obviously, fair spike just now. So that's definitely the part of the game he needs to clean up the most. His combo game was on point, uh, keeping Larry in the air. He looked pretty pretty good uh, in that aspect as well. We are going to go to Lilat. Larry's going to ban Lilat. This is Komo Rikiri's favorite stage. Uh -oh. uh, that's, that's great. <laughs> that, that's funny because a lot of Japanese players that I speak to, they actually say that they want to consider banning Duck Hunt and Lilat. Interesting. <laughs> from I guess Komo Rikiri is, uh, is not <laughs> the majority there. This guy is a rogue ninja. Oh. Yep. He said, I left the village. There's like a slash mark through his headband. <laughs> a band I can never go back. <laughs> but I love me some lilac, and I refuse to change my ways. All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh, look at that. They actually have, like, the stats on the highest jumpers. You saw that? All right, anyway, here we go. Game two on Smashville. And right now, we already see Larry trying to keep up the pressure, leaving Komari here on the platform, using all that time to go for a charge. Manages to sneak in some damage. Okay. Larry finally gets his first hit with a dash attack, but Komo Rikiri ants that side B does so much damage. He's so good at using the, uh, the cross slash as he retreats from an opponent's aggression. Larry's going to have to change up his space and, and go just a little further than he's comfortable with. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! I thought Komo actually got What game there. is this? <laughs> game two? <laughs> that, that should not usually work in Smash 4. So. Uh oh, okay. Ooh. Might be. Oh, it is all good, man. It is all good. 
Whoa! Whoa! Okay, it's good that Komuriku actually slid off like yeah. that. I thought he was going to go for an up smash. He actually could have got a fair spike from it, but Alary does not go for it. Doesn't want to risk losing the momentum. He has what? That clips under the ledge, apparently. Okay, Larry Lur taking the first dog with a forward smash while Komo is still latched onto the, <laughs> to the ledge. With his tippy toes. Fair spike? Not quite. Uh, and the crowd is already clapping. Set's not over yet. Calm down. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Larry. Larry is all over this man. Como can't breathe. Let the man play. Oh, Dude, don't do Larry it. hasn't been hit this stock yet. Oh, don't he do it. <laughs> he's remained at six. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Finally getting hit. Cross slash. Oh, no. He goes for neutral B. Beautiful grab. Neutral A. That's it. There it is. Again. So consistent. Didn't even need the footstool. Fox McCloud. Oh, my God. Larry up 2-0. Looking so clean over Como Rukiri. Dude, this is Como's last stand here. Yep. Game three. Japan's last stand as well. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Okay. Come here, Craig's going to have to dig deep. Are we going to see the Sonic? I mean, I don't know. Sonic versus Fox. He might as yeah, well stick like with it. like we said, it's pretty Cloud. rough, but the Cloud has not been working out. He's been getting edge guarded like crazy. Larry's just so on point with those fair spikes right now. Como debating. Okay. I think we're going to stay. Here it is. This is it. Yep. It's the final chance. He's going to stay uh, Cloud and opt to go right back to Smashville. Two, one, <sighs> go! Let's see if Larry can pull out a 3-0 over Como Rakir. Dude, Larry with these, uh, just the full jump downer has been working out so well for him. Uh-oh. Komo Rakiri. Ooh. Also have to remember that the last time that uh, Larry played a Cloud yeah. was Mewtwo King. And, and he got, I mean, he kind of got destroyed. <laughs> the man, the man kind of got blown up. So maybe he's just really angry about losing a Cloud. He's kind of sick of it mm -hmm. and, uh, and done with it. And he's showing it here. Komo Rakiri not out of this at all, though. Yep, trying to wall out Larry, it seems, with nares and back airs. Ooh, good side B. Is that going to be the stock? That is going to be the stock. Okay, what a quick stock from Komo Rakiri answering back, finally. Yeah, very good stuff. Noticing how a lot of foxes tend to be airborne quite a bit, so why not just immediately cut the opponent up in the air? I like the recovery there, snapping right to the ledge, not giving Larry a chance to get a fair spike. Oh, he anticipated a fair Ooh. spike, it seems. Yeah. Back throw. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to go for the down throw. Try to get an air dodge read there into the up smash. Oh, okay. Komo Rikiri not biting. I wonder if he wanted to mix up the DI, too, by going for a down throw. Possibly. <laughs> nice delay, too. Ooh, good recovery there from Larry, though. Avoiding the neutral B. Up spot. Komo almost oh, gets it. That no. could have been a down smash, yep. right? Komo playing so careful so here. So patient now, yeah. He does not want to give up the stock or the lead. Oh, he expected a really high recovery. Smart electric to go to the platform. His movement is looking so much better now, too. Ooh. Finally going to get a grab. But can Larry convert? Boy, you have to watch out the way Larry mixes up that back air pressure, catching it. So much pressure on the platform. He's going to have to allow Comor here to charge up quite a bit here, though. He just can't get up there without risking getting down smash. Here we go. Up tilt. Jab. Oh, no. He goes for up there instead. Reads the jump. Jump. Oh, again. Go. <gasps> Platform to Wait. the rescue. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. He went for it all, but he's actually going to be able to make it back. Punishes the fair. Okay. Good damage by Larry. Are we going to see a limit? There it is. Is that enough? That is going to be enough. Komo Rikiri puts himself on the board. D1 the Prophet right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I'm the Grim Reaper. I probably wrote Larry's name Oh my! <laughs> in the death note for game three. <laughs> Larry will die by limit in game three. And then right there, the prophecy fulfilled. Game four. Are we going to go back to the same stage? Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing the same stage, sure. actually. Uh, Larry actually is not that huge of a fan of Smashville. Mm. So, yep, we're going to go to Battlefield. All right. Again, Larry Larry's favorite stage. And uh, also very, very solid for Cloud. So, see no reason for Cole Mercury not to let Larry go here. Uh, the way that Larry's been playing combo-wise, though, I don't know. Do you really want to give him uh, those extensions? Man. Uh-oh. Here comes the... Just like you were speaking of, um, the, the side B, right? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Oh! <gasps> Oh! Thought he was going to be able to get it. Not quite. Larry's still in this. Or Como's still in this. Ooh. 
But up air pressure here. Mm. Almost so good about getting the sweet spot up B where he just doesn't have to worry about it. Ooh. Up air. Oh, he <laughs> went for two. He, he, he had enough time to read the air dodge and like throw one out anyway and still get an up air off of it. Larry one stock away from taking Komor Kiri out. But there it is again. You see the down airs, but with the platforms there, he's going to have to do it in the center of the stage. Oh. How's Larry going to recover? This is Komar Kiri's chance. Gets a grab because he knows he's going to be pressured into shielding. Doesn't want to get side beat. I wonder why Komar went for the back throw. Not sure. Hmm. That's actually a good question. Should have just thrown him off stage again. Yeah. Get the stage control. And uh, set up for another edge guard. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, really late. It yeah. seemed like an F tilt. Possibly, yeah. Uh -huh. No blade beam. Another? Oh, okay. Now the blade beams have not been very effective. He needs to save his limit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so much Whoa! damage. He even beats out the down air. It doesn't come out in time. Fair. Okay. Well, I didn't mean... I, I you, didn't you, mean... Come nah, on nah, nah, just take it. Take the call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another good grab here from Coma, but he's, he's getting the damage he needs. He just cancels out the stock. Mm, no limit right there. Yeah, that was a big opportunity. Probably thought Larry would... Tech it. Oh, back air. He's gonna I have don't to think burn he has it. a jump. Yeah, he has to burn the limit. Okay. Oh, Fast right. fall up air is going to finally take that stock off of Larry Lur, but he has to make up 104%. And Larry's one up smash away from taking this set. And, you know, getting that stock. Oh, that's it. Back air is going to do it. Como Rakiri out at fifth place. And that's rough. And, you know, getting that star KO definitely helped him out. He was yeah. able to get a charge, but. Since he wasn't able to get rid of Larry's stock sooner, you know, unfortunately for him, the man Larry just kept up the pressure that, uh, especially on Battlefield, right? Like, uh, he exploded. Yeah, no, that was absolutely ridiculous, dude. His combo game on Battlefield is just too much. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think Komar Kiri should have let him go Battlefield. Whew. So well, now we are going to have our other side of Loser's Quarters, and it is going to be Richard.